Hey guys, I'm singing in the rain. Ooh, just singing in the rain. What a glorious feeling. I'm happy again. Do you know that song? Who knows that song? Guys, and if the person who bought me the last present let me know. Oh, we have to unbox the present of the day. We've been getting awesome gifts from the viewers. Super excited about that. And my mom is about, where'd she go? Mom, where'd you go? Oh, she's getting camera ready. Guys, we're doing something special today. We're making the lasagna and Lois is watching. Mom, so you gotta be really good making that lasagna. Can't miss any ingredients. We got your viewers watching. Lois is a great cook. Lois is a great cook, my father said. So you all have to go check out her cooking show. <laughs> Hi, what's up everybody? All right, we got this awesome package. Yes, it came to my P.O. box. What's in the box? Yay, another day, another box. That's right, guys, every day for as many days as we can. We're going to open the packages that you guys send me from my Amazon wish list or, you know, whatever you decide to pick out yourself. I am not. Somebody wrote gold digger. Guys, how am I a gold digger? How did I appreciate the people out there who take the time to send me packages. I love me some packages. Hold on, it's, it's so dark, I gotta put the light on. I gotta put, ooh, I just almost ran into the chair. It's rainy today. Let there be light. That's right, let there be light. Oh, except I'm backlit now. Ooh. Maybe I should move to the other side. The other side of the light. All right, guys, we're gonna open this box. We're gonna open said box, and then my mom is gonna make the lasagna for all of you people out there who love lasagna. All right, guys, you excited? I'm excited to see what's in the box. Yeah, guys, I open anything. So if you're a brand or a company too, and you want me to open stuff, I will open it. I will open it. Ooh, what is this? Another pair of boots? <gasps> Somebody else got me shoes. Oh my goodness. Who got me these shoes? This is amazing. Okay, it's from, um, who's it from? Chunky Heel Boots from Lamont Smalls. I love you, Lamont. Thank you. Thank you so much for these boots. Oh, they're beautiful. Oh my goodness, guys. I don't know how I'm gonna get everything back to LA. Wow. I didn't just get one pair of awesome shoes. I got two. These are, oh my God, they're, they're beautiful. They're suede. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna put the boots on right now. Thank you guys. You, you, those of you know, boots are like, some of my favorite things in the world are boots. Lamont, you did good. You did very good putting the boots on. Ooh, they're really high boots. Look guys, oh my goodness. I hope I don't, it's raining out, so I don't really wanna mess up these beautiful boots. I know guys, I know how beautiful are these boots. People who don't know me are gonna tune in, they'll be like, this girl's going crazy. Be like, what do her viewers send her? Well, her favorite thing ever, shoes. Love shoes. Oh my goodness, these are really nice shoes. These are so nice. Oh my goodness. What amazing shoes. Oh, and they're comfortable too. Oh my goodness. Putting the shoes on, they're, they're like really high boots. Look at this. Oh, they're nice. I'm gonna show you the boots, guys. Mom, look at these boots. Aren't they beautiful? You got a new pair of boots? Yeah, I got a new pair of boots. <gasps> Oh, I Can, love it. They're really cute, right? Yeah. Can my viewers see it? Guys, they're burgundy. I don't know. It's in the dark out here. Yeah, too bad I have no place to go with these fancy boots. <laughs> but when I made this Amazon wish list, I didn't think we were all going to be quarantined for so oh, long. Suede? Yeah, they're, they're beautiful. Oh, watch out for the rain. I know, I know. Here, wait, let me see if I can oh put... Oh, my goodness. Oh, in, my gosh. They're gorgeous, right? Yes. Oh, I'm like in love with these boots right now, guys. You have no idea. Thank you so much, Lamont Smalls, for giving me the coolest boots. Oh they, they're so cute. Oh my goodness, amazing. Amazing boots. I have the best viewers right now. Ah! What was that? What, what? There was a bug on me. No, it probably was your hair. No, it was a real bug. <laughs> What's up? Well, I just got a really cool pair of boots. There's nothing in life that makes me more happy than boots. Yes. Any girl out there knows how it feels to get a nice new pair of boots. It's like Christmas all over again. 
My mom's just looking at me like I'm nuts. She's like, what are you doing? I don't want to do laundry. It's oh, expensive. yeah. I know. It's raining out, too. I wanted. To, I didn't know that I was going to get boots. That was a nice surprise. I mean, this was really torrential rain. Yeah, it was like a, we had a thunderstorm. It was like a crazy thunderstorm. Oh, my God. These are beautiful. Beautiful boots, Lamont. And girls, if you want to get them, I guess he got them on Amazon. They were on my wish list. They're called um, uh, Dream Pairs because only shoes like this exist in your dreams. They're beautiful. Beautiful boots. <laughs> My mom's just like, well, I just don't wanna um, put the, the bottoms of the, are a little wet, I don't wanna put them next to each other. But yeah, you're right, I should put them both in the bag. Happy 4th, Lauren. I know, it's cool that I got this present for 4th of July. Isn't this awesome? Boots, shoes. All right, guys, we're going to make some lasagna. Are you excited? I know I am. Lasagna. Yay. My mom's like ready. She's like been getting it ready to go online. She put makeup on. Wow. No, just a little lipstick. Oh. No, what happened was I, I went to check my hair uh -huh. and I looked in the mirror and my shirt was on inside out. Oh, <laughs> we did all those TikToks and your shirt was out inside yeah. out. Oh my goodness. All right, so guys, I'm gonna show you, we're making some lasagna right now. Mom, you wanna talk to them a little bit while I put some clothes back on? Oh, wait, 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 let's cook it, wait. All right, here, move okay. the lasagna. Oh, wait, how do we do this? How do we send you stuff? I have um, my P.O. box is 188-22 Union Turnpike, New York, if, and if it's in within, I'll tell you my other P.O. box if you want, if it's gonna be later than two weeks. So okay. going back to LA eventually. No, she's not. She's staying here with me. Mom, are you going to talk to them? Yeah, I'm talking to them. She what doesn't know it. She's staying with me. What are you saying, Mom? <laughs> oh, nothing. Are you whispering? Yeah. Are you whispering? <laughs> um, well, I just want to say what I was doing before we got on camera here because otherwise it might take a little bit more time. So I prepared the mozzarella in one cup. Mm. Shredded the mozzarella. Shredded. We, we shot a TikTok of us actually shredding the mozzarella. It was very cool. Yes. So that was fun. You think, is that, that looks unsteady. Is that okay? Uh, it looks okay. I think as long as we show them. So we have a bunch of mozzarella. How many cups do you think that is? About four cups yeah. of mozz mozzarella. Four cups of And a cup of Parmesan. Well, I don't know if I'm going to use all of it. Or maybe mm. half. Half of that. And, Your mom's um, hair looks great. Oh. That she, she washed it all out. I'm hiding it. She spent an hour in the shower, guys, washing out what I dyed. I was very upset I'm about that. I'm hiding it. I was like, I spent all this time. You were crying. And then you go and wash it out. You know, she knows how I feel about having my hair dyed. That it has to be done professionally. Otherwise, it could turn out orange, like like a wine color. So it's, it's very difficult to get the right color. Anyway, so. All right, let's start the let's food. How do we lasagna. make lasagna, guys? I didn't know we were going to do this. But we're going to jump right into lasagna because okay. it got dark out. Now, I'm going to mix the, um, the regatta with an egg. Okay. So why are you doing that, Mommy? Well, I'm going to prepare that. That's the Why do you put the regatta with the egg? Tell them. To spread, so we can spread it out, that it, it's not too, um, too dry. Uh-huh. You know, it's easier to spread. George is doing really good today. It was funny, the, the neighbor's dog, the neighbor's daughter, uh, actually, it's funny because our neighbors are actors here, which is great, but the daughter came to visit and she has the two most adorable, um, what are they, mommy? They're called uh, uh, Cocker Spaniels. Yeah. And I love Cocker Spaniels. And they escaped their yard, came on our yard, and automatically were just playing with George, and George was running around like a puppy, which we, he probably shouldn't be running around like a puppy. My dad was like, you can't be running around like that. But he, he loved those dogs. Now he's asleep. But he was running like a puppy. So I'm measuring uh, two cups of regatta. Two cups of regatta. Okay. You only use two cups or? Well, I don't know. Um, 
I'm not sure. This Michael said he wants garlic bread. Do we normally make garlic bread with our lasagna? What's yes. the... Yeah, yeah, my dad said yes. My dad is very excited about that. Yes. He didn't even have to think. He was like, garlic bread. Yes. Make it. So we're Italian. They went to the farms today because we haven't been able to find good tomatoes anywhere. I don't know if anyone else has been finding this issue. And they bought the most expensive tomatoes ever. This was $4 a pound. Was this one tomato $4? <laughs> no, no. I got, actually, got two of them? I got two. Well, two tomatoes for $5. Oh, my goodness. That's the most expensive I, yeah, tomato. No. I don't even think we should eat it. We should just, like, take pictures yeah, of it. Yeah, no, I've never like, bought But it looks so good. It I couldn't looks, resist. And they, we've been going to the grocery store, and there's been no tomatoes. So I don't know what's going on. Why is there a tomato shortage? We're Italian. We need our tomatoes. Tomatoes actually are really, really good for you. I don't know if you know about that. No. Oh, Lois wants to know, do you put meat in the lasagna? Oh, I was going to ask you about that. I do have this oh. turkey. No, with, don't put turkey oh, in my lasagna. No, no? definitely not. Uh, no, my father said no, too. Why? It's like chopped meat. No. no man, you would eat it. I wouldn't eat it. <laughs> I thought I was going to have a little meat That's in my lasagna. Long you could put beets, little meatballs in the lasagna. Oh, I don't it's have little meatballs. I have Thank you, finish. Michelle. Thank you, Michelle. <laughs> what did Michelle say? <laughs> oh, Michelle said she watched some of my videos, and then she'll be watching more. Thank you, girl. Just here with my parents discussing whether or not we want to put meat in the lasagna. I like meat in the lasagna. I don't know how I'd feel about turkey in my lasagna. I have some sausage. Oh. Oh, no. Just make the lasagna My dad does not like meat. So certain people like certain things. My dad is not a fan of meat in the lasagna. Right now my mom is cutting the basil from a fresh basil tree. The most beautiful basil I got, in yeah. the whole world. Save, Lois wants us to save her some. We can save you some, Lois. And... I'm going to put some oregano. So if you can get fresh vegetables, guys, that's the best. Uh, and we get them. We got we got fresh basil. Yes. Oh, where, where is your grocery store, guys? We're in New York or in New Jersey right now. And they went yeah, to a we, farm to get the we tomatoes. We go to the real deal. Yeah, it, but you're worth it. That tomato looks good. Tell them we support the farmer. Yvonne, I, I'm just, I feel bad about eating it because it looks so good. I'm like, it's so, it, and it's expensive. Mark said, no turkey. <laughs> so my mom is really mixing it. Lois said, thank you. <laughs> um, there is no shortage in tomato. Oh, in Tennessee, $2 a pound. That's way better. See, I don't know. I would have just not bought it at $4 a pound. <laughs> I'm Lauren, cheap. Lauren, came right out of the how can you resist? I support Look at that farm. tomato. My you dad is supporting. <laughs> and I support that, that farm. Somebody wants you to make spaghetti. Spaghetti. They actually, she made spaghetti the other day. It was great. Now, my dad made tomato sauce. A lot of times we'll cook tomato sauce all in one, one shot. And he makes it like my grandmother does. It's so good. So, so good. Maybe one day, if he wants to ever come on camera, we will show you how to make the tomato sauce. Excuse me. All right, this is a trick my mom does. It's a secret. She lets no little piece of sauce go uncovered. So the rest of the jar, she'll put some water in there. She'll shake it up just to get, get everything out of there. Don't waste anything. It's, I think, from my grandmother who was in the Depression era, who, like, really <laughs> saves. I got to stretch yeah. the sauce. I hope there's going to be enough. I hope it'll be enough sauce, too. Yeah. I mean, I might yeah. have to. Let's see. <laughs> if you're gonna use meat, you gotta use crumbled sausage. That sounds good, crumbled sausage. Mm. I have sausage. My dad is weird, he doesn't want meat in his tomatoes. Oh, James said, put the turkey in it. <laughs> I thought it was good, because I made this uh, turkey, we made turkey tacos with, uh, this has garlic, onions in it. Oh well. oh well, next time. Okay, so, that's all right now. Oh, I didn't put the oven on. You didn't put the oven on? Yeah, what do you have to put it on? 400. It? So okay. uh, preheat the oven to 400. Okay. And then um, I'm going to... Just put it on 400, right? Yeah. I don't know, understand this oven. Yeah, just put it to 400 and then... Okay. Make sure there's nothing in the oven. Yes. For those yes. people whose parents leave stuff in their ovens. I don't understand it. <laughs> oh, you love the tomatoes. You need to move to Tennessee. That would be great. All right, so now she is using uh, some butter on her lasagna pan. Just making sure. And one of the things we found out from Roseanne, who works at the, her dance studio, this, guys, for anyone who likes, loves lasagna, 
but doesn't want to wait hours. Like we were always intimidated by making lasagna until we learned about oven ready lasagna. And this is not a brand deal. It's just, it's so fast. You don't have to cook it before. And it tastes the same. It's amazing. They have it like they have store brand ones. You just get it on the shelf with the regular pasta and it's really good. Really, really good. I know, Michelle, I know it's been a while. Okay, so. I just have to wash my hands off all over. All right, now she has butter all over her hands. Hi, Lauren's mom. Yes. Hi. Yes. Hello, Lauren. <laughs> we are here making lasagna again. We've done it, I think, twice now on the channel. For those of you who know, lasagna is my favorite. Oh, Deborah's watching. It's Deborah's birthday, Daddy. Oh, Deborah Jarofsky? Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Deborah. Happy birthday to you. You're walking into us making lasagna. My mom got so excited she started coughing. But we all got our antibody tests and we all tested negative for the virus, which... I don't know, my dad swore he had it and was telling everyone he had it, and then we all tested negative, so now we all feel really stupid. But I'm also scared, because now I'm scared that, that what if they get it now? They never had it before. So uh, if you live in New York, actually, they're doing free antibody tests. So Deborah, Lois, anyone else watching that lives in New York? Right on Union Right on, we, we went to the, it was a school in Queens. Queens High School. Queens High School. On Yeah, okay. so... Now, first, we're right. just going to put a little layer of tomato on the on the top, on the bottom. A little bit of tomato sauce that we made before. I feel like the sauce is the longest process. Oh, How yeah. long did you cook the sauce for? About two hours. Two, <laughs> yeah. But generally, they'll make so much sauce that they have it for pasta. They have it for everything. Meatballs. Okay. Now, I need just a little bit more. I hope yeah. I've got enough sauce. Hope you have enough sauce too. Yeah. Love lasagna. It reminds me of when I was a kid, homemade cavatellis. Oh my goodness, your grandmother was full Italian. What was her cavatelli recipe? That's what we should make. That sounds good. My grandmother used to make it all the time. Your grandmother made it. Do you know how to make it, Dad? Yep. You do? So why don't we make that? Okay. Too too, my dad said it's too hard to make it. Those people were great. Right. Those people were great. Those older people were great that made the cavatelli. Is this the way I did it? Um, I think you used one more sheet, no? Or are well, you saving? There's actually because there's twelve, and I if I that then I could make more layers. Okay, all right, make more layers. Okay. Somebody said nice hair color, guys. Her hair color washed all out. So all of that work we did, all of her crying over the over over her uh, dip she was making, totally wasted. Totally wasted. It washed out easy, right, mom? Yes, it, it was all red in the bathtub as I was showering. <laughs> she hates that. She does not like that. Somebody said, three hours in, in, in bed. Yeah, I feel like today has been a lazy day. I got into, I, we had a deal. My father's cell phone came in. It was the wrong phone. And Best Buy w wants a, to charge a restocking fee if you return a phone. So I spent like two hours on hold with customer service and the people kept hanging up on me. It was horrible. It was so stressful, I didn't get any work done. And they went to the store. Oh, we had a ball. Oh, you did? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, you trying to get the, your uh, phone. Trying to return the phone. All right, so now what's she doing? Now she put regatta in. Did you put sauce over it? No, she put the sauce, she put the regatta yeah. on top. Yeah, I should have put the sauce first, but that's okay. That was, I was afraid. Oh, somebody wants to cook us amazing Turkish food. That sounds oh. great. I would love some Turkish food. I love, I love Turkish food. That I love, very yeah, good. it sounds really good. And then uh, we have to sprinkle some. This is a great 4th of July weekend with just my parents. I wish my uncle was here, but he's with his, uh, other his family, so so my uncle's not here. Now I'm gonna. He's sprink, in the Hamptons. Sprinkle some. We're telling everybody on social media where he is. That's great. <laughs> Do you all want to go visit my uncle Daniel? His phone number is no. <laughs> and I'll put some. Parmesan. A little bit of parm. So she put uh, one of the cups of mozzarella and a little bit of parm. She had it all organized for when we live stream. That's right, so that it's good. 
from the birthday. Beautiful voice with the, they they liked your voice. Now she's putting more sauce on it. Oh, tortilla presses are so good. Yes, tortilla presses are delicious. Yes, coming like being in Los Angeles, they have the best tortillas there. I, just the Mexican food there is incredible. So I learned a lot about cooking Mexican food because all my a lot of my friends are Mexican. So I learned a lot of a lot of dishes, and it's just so yummy. Tamales. Oh my goodness, I love tamales, guys. It's great to learn. I love to cook from stuff around the world, but because we are Italian, that's what my mom normally makes. That's her go-to. Although yesterday there was she did make the tacos. So yes. All right, we're doing the layers, guys. You know, I'm wondering if I should have mixed in some, um, like another jar of sauce. Oh, you don't think I mean, you have enough? You know, of um, pre-made sauce? Yeah, let me just see if I have some. Uh, I can She's some nervous. Milk. She's nervous. There Fred, might not be enough tomato sauce, guys. Fred, we are we having have, an emergency. Do you have any ready-made sauce? I don't no, think no. so. Ready-made sauce? Uh, no, it's just that... That I thought I had enough. Well, you should have enough. I don't know what you're doing. You no. should try our food out here in Chicago. Actually, my mom has been talking about this all day. Last year at this time, we were in Chicago for my cousin's wedding. So she has been so upset that we're not in Chicago because we were going to plan a family reunion. Her sister is in Chicago. So my mosquito bites, as you see, I still have one on my arm. It's pretty, I should put more cortisone and on my head a little bit. Oh like, no, let me see the bump. Look. Yeah, and my arm, but yeah. Lois, we're gonna save you some. We love you, Lois. I wouldn't normally do this, but. She's adding, guys, don't, don't <laughs> tell anyone what my mother is doing. You could have sneakily did this off camera and not told the 300 I, people watching that I you're gonna know. cheat. This is not what real Italian yeah, people do. My dad's saying she's gonna wreck the sauce. He's very upset. There is drama in the kitchen right now. My mother is including a store-bought sauce into our homemade two-hour sauce because there's not enough. What kind? What kind is it, Mom? Uh, Kelowna. Kelowna. I, 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 my dad is gonna be upset. Oh my goodness, we're trying to open it. Whew. Don't break your wrist. Here, can you people break wrists? You, you can wrench your wrist. You could run under hot water. Good. <laughs> I think he realized we were live Mary streaming. Malone, I liked it. That was the okay, here, please put it under hot water. He was a comic and he made some tomato sauce? Yeah, I think it's Jerry Colonna's sauce. I know you guys told me yesterday, but there's so many times, like it was like the, the little kid who cries wolf. There's been so many times people would like be watching and say like, oh, you have a bug on your face. So of course, when you told me there was a bug on my face, I thought you guys were just kidding and you know, being silly. All right, yes, Liz said, tap it with a knife again. She's tapping it again with the knife. Rick said, ill store-bought sauce. Then somebody else said, rubber gloves. Do you have rubber gloves here? Want no, me to try? I don't try? Really have a hard, let me try this is, ever since they put them in plastic, it's harder, I don't know why. I guess that's my mother saying, what are you doing to the sauce? Yeah, I think it's the universe saying, just just don't don't use the other sauce. <laughs> but I don't think we should use it, Mom. I think it's a sign from God. You think so? Yeah, I think so. I think God does not want to use the sauce. Yep. It's God. Oh, maybe. Maybe. I got it. Now got that it. You got that sauce, we use the turkey. We use a turkey. <laughs> Hit just, yeah, just just put half of it in, and I'll mix it in with this. Hey, It'll girl, be fine because it's gonna be mixed in. How with, are with the you, other. Teresa? Is that good or more? Yeah, just do. Let's just do this much, and let's see. All right, we'll tell you guys. You gotta check out on Instagram if it's still if she messed up the sauce or not. See, I'm not, I myself do not like too much sauce. Oh, so you'll like, be okay. I do not like my food drowned in sauce. My dad does. And George has been good. I've been lighting a candle, guys. I, I really believe in the religious candles. My parents, I usually just leave it on. But my parents always, before they leave or they go to bed, they turn it off. But I just leave it on all day. That's why you're going to burn your house down. <laughs> Daddy, don't be negative. Well, you don't leave candles on. No, and you never leave candles unattended. Oh. Especially in New York. Especially, what? What do you mean? Especially in L.A.? 
And L.A. L.A. is worse. You burned down a whole state. <laughs> I mean, I'd be careful, but when you go to bed, no one's going to knock the candle over. How do you know? Who's going to knock it over? Anybody you don't know if some wind, wind, a wind is, so. breeze is going to come and... Is this the uh, cheese or the... I think this That's is... That's Parmesan. This one's the cheese, That's right? the cheese, yeah. Where's this spoon here? Guys, this is some intense lasagna making. I need another spoon. Oh, boy, I'm getting hot from With the stove. With the stove <laughs> yeah. on. Hey, guys. Oh... Oh no, this is some, this feels like mozzarella. What are you oh. making? That is mozzarella. Oh no, I meant I meant the parmesan. Oh, you want the parmesan? This is the parmesan. No. We are making some lasagna, guys. And Super fun, special. The quality of the mozzarella makes the lasagna better. Really? So my father's the quality of the mozzarella makes the lasagna better. Mom can definitely cook, because because she's had a lot of practice at it, right? Mom, practice makes perfect. Yes. It was, Liz, it was, I think, 90 degrees today, um, and my parents were out the whole day, so I was just in the house with George, and he's been so good, guys. It's, it's amazing. It's so dangerous leaving unattended candles. <laughs> okay, guys, I get it. I know, I just love, I feel better with a candle on. I feel like it's just like the universe is protecting me. I don't know. <laughs> like, it's, it's, everything is okay. My dad's probably rolling his eyes right now. Are you rolling your eyes, Daddy? No. No. Three more. One. All right. Two. Guys, and this is three. the ready baked lasagna. Not a brand deal. We just love we love using it. It's very good. We are in winter. Where are you that it's winter? Where are you? Where is it winter? Is it are you in Australia? What's up, Christopher? Yeah, I put it up because sometimes when we do cooking videos, people start criticizing me if my hair is down. And I didn't even know we were going to do this. I was outside and it just got dark. It was raining today. It was in and out. It was really hot, but it was raining in and out. So that's why. Australia, I guessed it. <laughs> I've, I've always wanted to go to Australia because the guys there are really cute. <laughs> but I don't, think, I don't think anybody's allowed to go in there. They, oh, really? They ban they ban I think everybody? the borders are closed. Oh. Yeah. But you can't blame them. Oh, thank you, Michelle. I'm enjoying my family time, too. I'm trying to decide if we're going to go back, if I'm going to go back to L.A. That's the hard part. George is looking at us. Look at him. He's so cute. What are you saying to them? <laughs> I'm going to have to rewatch this video. You're, you're having some <laughs> secrets with my viewers that I don't know about. <laughs> You're planning. My mom is up to something. <laughs> uh. All right. I think we're in the last layer. Yeah. Do you want to use another? Do you have another box or no? I know we have more in New York. I bought like 20 of these boxes, guys. Because sometimes they don't have it. Like around holidays, if you try to get it. Because on, on Christmas time. I don't know, Daddy. Christmas no. time, I was, I was, I wanted it, and we couldn't find it anywhere. All the stores were sold out of ready baked lasagna. I'm so sad. How are you, Lauren? Hope your mom and dad and dog are okay. We're good. We're good. George is doing well. He had his first thing of chemo two days ago. Only thing is, I don't know if you guys saw the tick we pulled off. He tested positive for an anaplasma kind of. Um, what is that called? It was like uh, when they do blood work, it was a marker. I can't think right now. I'm kind of like foggy today. Uh, so he had something that, that has a, carries the bacteria and ticks that came off. So hopefully, they said some of the time it turns, it can be the, like if they carry that kind of, um, what is it, going to pathogen? I forget what it's called, that it, it could turn into Lyme disease. And he was like, after he got bit by that tick, guys, he kind of went down and his energy was super low. And that's, that's what I think it was. I thought it was the fact we took him off the prednisone. Oh my goodness, Wendy, you're going to Las Vegas Monday. That's awesome. Just make sure you wear your mask on the plane. It's scary out there, but that's fun. This is much about Cause this I, is much about. Yeah, because I heard they're opening. Uh, I have friends in Las Vegas. Oh, if you go to Las Vegas, go see. My friend does this show. His name is Magic Murray. He's a magician, and he's so funny. He's really, really good if you want to see a good show. I'm going to have a cookie. I feel like maybe I need a cookie. Do you ever get like a, a headache, guys? I have a headache. Mm. 
chocolate cookie. George, why are you looking at me like that? Like you want my cookie. He probably is wants lasagna. Does he eat lasagna? No. <laughs> What's up, Dana? How are you? George is a schnauzer poodle. He's my schnoodle. He's so I I gave him a haircut today, guys. Let me show you. George, come on. Can you show him? Can you a haircut? He will not go to the to the hair salon. You can't really tell because I'm picking him up, but he looks super cute. And I've been rubbing like oils on him, which have been really helpful. I've been putting um essential oils, frankincense, copaella. And uh, myrrh. Is it your first time flying? Oh my goodness, you're gonna love flying, Wendy. I love getting on planes. I miss getting on planes. Mommy. Yeah. Don't you miss flying? Yeah, I, well, to tell you the truth, flying was a luxury when I first flew in the 1960s. They it, changed since then? Yeah. It was, when it's Wendy's first time flying, so she won't she won't be able to compare it to the '60s. Yeah, well, I mean, she's gonna. I'm sure she, it's gonna be fine because they're uh, everybody's stepping up to the plate now and making sure that everybody is gonna be comfortable since uh, you know they have to stay in business. Yeah, now. which airline are you flying? Okay. Just call and make sure you get like spaced out. <laughs> Thank you, Michelle. I love George. Okay, that took about 20 minutes. That was 20 minutes, guys. Yeah. 20 minutes to make that lasagna. And we're going to put some aluminum over it. And there's some, so many people are like, oh my God, lasagna takes so days. Oh my goodness, so, so long. It's amazing. Johnny said he's never been on a plane before. Well, one day, Johnny. It's pretty, you got to do it. We're putting um, tin foil on it, guys. And if you share this to different groups, definitely the most amount of shares. We're gonna we're gonna give away autographs to do that. So I have a lot. I have all these um like cards that I had bought like when I first started my YouTube channel. So now I've just been like uh, autographing them and signing them. Or we're gonna go. This okay. is what this is what happened to me when we had ninety six thousand people looking at me. She got burned when I put the lasagna in. So I have to be very careful. But she I got she she has to pay attention. She gets a little like used what? to this oh burbank airplane that's a that's my favorite airport wendy it's a beautiful airport okay so you're going to put it in for 35 minutes 35 minutes all right alexa should i put it in i'm gonna yes Sorry. i'll i'm having trouble understanding right now well we're gonna later. well we're gonna put this timer on anyway alexa set yeah. a timer the middle or the top yeah do you want to talk Alexa, can you set a timer for 35 minutes? She didn't answer. She's having a hard time. Alexa, set a timer for 35 minutes. Sorry, I'm having trouble understanding right now. Ooh. Please try a little later. All right, well. The hazards of cooking with a live audience. I know. I feel like doing squats at the same time. My friend told me the other day I was getting fat, so I was like, oh, no. She's like, I see it in your videos, Lauren. I was like, no, no, I gotta work out more. Oh, yeah, Burbank is really nice. Burbank is super nice. So the, the airport is is uh, easy to fly out of. I also like Long Beach. Oh, nice. Your sister works at the Chicago airport. We love Chicago. Always busy. Yeah. So what's up next, Mom? Are you gonna make the salad? Well, no, that's too soon to make the salad. I mean, unless I make just make a little bit of a tomato salad. Mm. Somebody said, did you finish university? Yes. Yes, I did. Do you want to do anything with this or put it in here? You're not going to use scrape it like no, you no, always no. do? No. She always scrapes the whole. No, it's too busy here. Too busy. Let's just put all this in the sink. Too busy with the live. All right, guys. So I'm going to make a small tomato salad because... I have to see how these tomatoes are that we got today. Let's see if they're ready to eat. Are they ready to eat? So let's see what size bowl would be like a medium. I'm just gonna size. like be doing 
Guys, as I do the dishes, I try to work at it at the well, same time. Yeah, because these are all clean in here. So oh, so don't those, put them in there? Those we can't do, but oh. um, I am going to cut this beautiful tomato. Oh, no, you're going to cut the beautiful tomato? Yeah. Why? So we should take like a picture of it before. Oh, we have got other ones. My father is requesting pasta primavera. Don't you know we're making lasagna, Daddy? He wants more pasta dishes to make me fat. Yeah. Maybe you can, I'm, my friend told me we should get like the eggplant pasta that that they. Or zucchini pasta, she yeah, said. That's great. I had that. Yeah? That's she said, really good. Yeah, she said that we should get that so we don't get fat. No, it's be for you. Well, oh yeah. my goodness, look at that. Look at the Oh my god, it looks so look good. Look at the inside of this tomato. Alright, that's a four dollar tomato. Life. And this is a Pyrex, guys. I don't know if you guys can appreciate Pyrex, but I can. Pyrex is beautiful. I love you guys have moms, and they have these bowls. They're really great bowls. And they go, they're like vintage. There's like people who just collect Pyrex bowls. It's a thing. I usually try to wash them quickly. I don't know where to put them. Where to put the bowls now? We don't know. Yeah. Cause... There's no more space on the counter. <laughs> Mom? Yeah. Where do I put it? Uh, uh, let me put it inside this other one here. Okay. Here you go. Oh, wow. Look at you cutting that tomato. This looks like a fruit. I mean, tomatoes are fruit. But this it really... Looks beautiful. This looks almost like watermelon. Look, it's look, look. It's so, really beautiful. So red. So red. So mm. what I'm going to do is... Is is cut... I think I'm just going to do one tomato. One tomato. Yeah, yeah, that's good enough. Just do one tomato and put some onions in it. Yeah. So i got to find the onions. Oh, where, oh, where did the onions go? <laughs> yeah, it does look delicious, Yvonne. I'm, li I'm just like, I want to eat it right now. Oh, somebody said, Alexa, go to the dishes. Yes. I love tomatoes. Tomatoes are really good for you. Alexa. What's wrong with her? I don't know. Fred, did you do something to Alexa? No. You, you think the storm... No, what that way for three days. Really? Oh, well, you didn't tell us. How? Tomatoes with ranch dressing. That sounds good, too. Well, this is an authentic Sicilian tomato salad that my dad made, my mother made, my grandmother's Two. made. Three. <laughs> Four. This is how I stay in shape, guys. So I put... Tomato and onions, and then I'm gonna put uh, some olive oil. Wanna show them? Show them the bowl. I got my mom this really cute thing that puts olive oil in it, and she didn't want it. She said, I don't need that. I love my can. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was very nice of my daughter. She, she goes to this the store and comes home with all these gifts for me. It's the dollar amazing. store. It's amazing. It's really amazing. She's she finds all these really cute things for me. Okay, so now I'm gonna sprinkle it with oregano. I think I should put. I might put a little uh, taste of that basil. We have the mm. best basil in the world. I know. I got it for my dad for his birthday. And he keeps accusing me of saying that you got it for your mother. You didn't get it for me. You want to show them our basil? It's so beautiful. I think I showed you the other day. It was like the most, and we've been eating it. So if you can get a plant, a healthy, look, oh my God, what's happening to my healthy plant, mommy? We got to leave well, it outside. Show, yeah, let's show the good side. Oh my God. Well, it was outside today. All but, right. You got to keep, oh, wow. The, a, a stick of it is dead. That's not good. Mmm. I could stay here all day and inhale this. Maybe put it by a window, open mm. window, that open window over there. Put the basil. Sometimes, guys, if plants aren't doing well, it's because a certain area of their house or the lighting. Are you picking the big leaves? Take all the ones off this one because this is dying. Okay. And any kind of uh, brown, like take off the brown. Ugh, this is sad. Sad thing. 
Yeah, this is a good basil. We should maybe go see if they have more of them. It was on sale for five bucks at ShopRite. We love ShopRite. <laughs> this is not a brand deal. Thank you guys. And I shall cut up this beautiful scrumptious basil into the salad, tomato salad. Lauren, right. could you get me some garlic powder? Okay. And maybe some garlic salt. Mm. Oh. Garlic powder. Mm, it smells really good, Mommy. And some garlic salt. And this is a very, one of the best tomato salad, Sicilian tomato salads in the world. <laughs> in the world. Yeah, it looks really good. I'm smelling it. it. smells so good. I can't get this open. Can we practice the English language? Can you teach me? Tomato salad. Tomato. Today you will learn Italian and English at the same time. Italian? Tomato. Is that how you say? In, in Italian, what is this called? I don't know. Probably tomato. Tomato? tomato? You say tomato. tomato. I say tomato. Okay. Garlic. Oh, no, no. You shut it. It took me forever to open it. I just opened it. And I didn't use it. <laughs> just a little bit of salt, so. Yeah. Okay. My mom doesn't have, like, a certain amount. She just, like, looks at it, and she goes, okay, this is... Because I'll ask her for a recipe, and she goes, you just have to, like, look at it. Like, how? Two. Three, four, what are you doing? five squats. Oh. So I'm gonna eat lasagna. Six, seven. I didn't do my abs yet today. Eight, nine, ten. Guys, if you're cooking and something's in the oven and you have extra time, you have nothing to do, can't do the dishes, just do some squats. Twelve. Don't bang the. Thirteen. Fourteen. It's not a cake. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Switch now, legs. Excuse my fingers, but I'm going to taste this. Yet, huh? Well, we didn't eat. One, two, mm. three. Very good four, tomato. That's we beautiful. Got five, mm -hmm. six, seven. That's great. Eight, nine, ten, <clears throat> eleven, twelve, thirteen. I just want to taste 14, this with garlic to see what it tastes like. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Mm. Good. Eighteen. Good. Nineteen. Twenty. Mom, why don't you do some squats with me? One, two. <laughs> Three. We have all the, there's all uh, our mats from the seats outside because it was pouring. No, I brought um, them in. Oh, you brought them in? Yeah, but they're behind us. I'm saying, to oh, see oh. Them. I'm like, I'm like doing a squat and I'm seeing the mat. So I just was explaining that. Oh, good, good. It's raining out. Okay. I'm and gonna, we're in a small I'm place. Let me just put this. Let me just put this away. Hi. You are tired already. Ooh, that looks so good. All right, guys, I'm going to try it. Mm. So good. <laughs> Frank said, Alexa, steal the lasagna. She's having trouble. Oh my goodness, mommy, this is really good. You gotta get them away. I'm gonna eat all the tomatoes. Mm. Your mom is so down to earth. I'm sure she'd love Australia for sure. I wanna go. My friends actually, 
You have to watch my friend's web series. It's called Cancelled. Um, so the director, it was funded by the Australian government. The director is Australian and his fiance is from Spain. And they went to Spain to get married. And this is a crazy story. And his, so, uh, his mom flew in from Australia, like her first time leaving Australia. And then lockdown happened. I felt so bad. So she was stuck in Spain for like four months. But they're able to pitch the show to the Australian government. And they got it funded. And it's really good. It's called Cancelled. It's about how they had to cancel their wedding. So super sad, but really nicely done. And the guy, he, the director actually acts in it. And he's Australian and his mom is Australian. So any Aussies here would love it. Would love it. Or if you're from Spain. Laura, do you mind if I go sit and rest a little bit? Why are you gonna go rest? I am a little bit tired and we've got 23 minutes. <laughs> but you don't wanna do a workout with me? Oh, I wish I could, I just, uh, I... What, are you gonna make the salad? Why don't you make the salad? Well... <laughs> you wanna rest for five minutes? Yeah, yeah. Five minutes, go rest five minutes, but yeah. yeah. But I'm here, they wanna see this lasagna, Mom. They don't wanna leave. Okay, but it's 23, it's gotta be a minute, I go 23 more minutes. Okay. I just, I might eat all that tomato salad. All right. <laughs> My mom looks tired. Um, okay, we're talking about essential oils because that's something I really love. And guys, I started putting, um, I uploaded a, a YouTube video today, super excited about it, putting my beauty tips in it. Guys, please share this video. Sharing is caring. I've been putting essential oils on me every single day. It's great. And if there's any... <laughs> Any like areas of your body that you want to hydrate, essential oil. I'm like addicted to the oils. <laughs> I'm addicted. I have to work on my website. That's something I have to do. My whole website got hacked, and somebody today was trying to hack my Snapchat. That's right. I don't know who was trying to hack it, but I was like, somebody's trying to hack me. That's great. Can you drink with me a glass of wine? I don't drink really, and I just I like tomatoes. We can share a tomato together. You'd be like, yes, cheers. Mm. Mommy, I think these are the best tomatoes I've ever had. Oh, we have to go back to the farm then. Oh my God, totally worth $4. That was, that was the farm, you know where you did all the, the photo shoots? Yeah. Yeah, and special shout out to those shoes I got at the beginning of the stream. That was really fun. I'm very excited about my new shoes. And we're just doing, I'm doing some, some working out as I'm uh, waiting right now for the lasagna to be done. Someone said, some hey, you're tuckering out your poor mom. I know, but you know, guys, you have to, st to stay in shape. Where did George go? Did he go in the bedroom and we locked him in? Leave him alone, don't go in. I was just seeing if he's okay. Was he in there? I don't know where he is. He's fine. He's probably in the bathroom. I just have to make sure George is always. That's it's it's good. You got to keep your energy up because if you're just sitting down all day, guys, it's uh not good for you. you got to push yourself. You seem a lot happier now, full of energy. It was the tomatoes. Yeah. What shoes? Oh, Michelle, you did you miss the beginning of the live stream? Where did the shoes go? I got a pair of shoes. Where did they go? Oh, here they are. Wait, hold on. I'll show you the shoes. They're beautiful. Um, I have an Amazon wish list, and, and some of my viewers for my birthday, or now it's after my birthday, but who knows, maybe it took a while to send them, sent me these really nice, beautiful boots. They're so beautiful. Dad, you see my, sh my boots? No, I didn't see them. I think I, I sold them yesterday. No, don't be quiet, Daddy. He's making jokes about my boots. Making jokes. He's making jokes. Oh, you missed the beginning. They're, they're really cute shoes. Very cute shoes. You know what I do though, guys? I'll look at other, uh, <laughs> I'll look at other girls' wish lists and I'll like get ideas from it. I'll be like, what does this person have on their wish list? <laughs> like, I love those sunglasses. That's kind of what I do. Cause I don't know. It's nice to pick stuff out. It's good to get gifts. It's fun to open online. A lot of people I've realized end up like having companies and they just send me stuff like this company. It's mixed with a, uh, my, a necklace my mom gave me, 
but this company is called Vintage Stamps and I always wear their jewelry. It's like super high quality. They're from Maryland and it has a G on it and a doggy paw. So they started sending me stuff. It's not branded, they don't pay me, but they just send me stuff and it's like cool, like I would buy this stuff. So I'm like, awesome. Eric said, dad's jokes are the best. Dad, your jokes are the best. Oh, Christopher. Christopher, can you send me um send me a screenshot of that? Uh, go to my goddessacomedy at gmail.com. Have you emailed me, Christian? Christopher? That's awesome. All right, we're just gonna do, I'm just gonna like work out while we're here. Lauren, can you be still for one minute before you get the house to rocking? I'm I'm working out, guys. I'm trying to work out. Why we do this here i will do a squat on the floor here wait here we go here these are good so guys i don't know if you do these at all oh lois is back hi lois there's 20 more minutes for the lasagna and we're here this is what we do why the food cooks guys every second of the day can be used and why the food is in the oven you could work on your ab muscles working on your abs is very important guys that's what my friend said when she called me. She said, Lauren, you gotta work on your ab muscles. So I said, okay, I'm gonna do it. I mean, I don't think she meant like while I was live streaming, but you know. <laughs> Hi. I know, but if you could take a screenshot of where you shared it, when, when you shared the videos, so I know. All right. Okay, oh, that was, so that's what I do. I'll do, and I switch between abs and squats. What's up, Netherlands, how are you? Um, Cause guys, it's important to keep your heart rate up, especially when you're like me and all you eat is pasta and chocolate and McDonald's. You have to really, really stay in shape. My dad's like, show Lois the lasagna. It's not ready yet, dad. It's in the oven. He already heard Lois' his name. He's like, bossy my mom. So like, get up, go show Lois the lasagna. Go do it. Lois is my dad's best friend. No, no, no. Yes? She was in two of my movies. She was, oh, she's, his act, she's in two of his movies. She's a famous actress. And, and Deborah also was in one of my movies. And Deborah was in one of his movies. <laughs> Yes, guys. So we're just keeping our heart rate up right now. Exercising. You did so much for dinner. You, what do you mean? We didn't do salad yet. We gotta make a salad. It's always good to have vegetables with your, with your dinner. I eat way too much starches. My friend showed me his diet last week. He lost 50 pounds in like three months. It's an amazing diet. I should do it. But he's like a half a vegan or something. He's like 80% vegan so i don't know if i could do that i just like food too much that's my thing i love to eat guys that's why i'm working out right now working out oh no michelle that's horrible you know what you gotta do i was reading this thing today i follow this amazing vet she's a holistic vet her name is dr karen becker and she interviewed this woman i think what's her name susan weber and she was talking about this thing is called the healing touch and it's like ways to calm dogs, especially during fireworks. You have to like make sure you're with them. And if they hear the fireworks, just put your, put your hands on them so that they know you're there and you're taking care of them and you're protecting them. Also, um, there's some kind of, there's a lot of like solutions you can give them when there's fireworks. It's just bad right now for the dogs because there's so much fireworks. George doesn't like fireworks either. He gets very scared. He doesn't like thunder and lightning also or the vacuum hates the vacuum. Like I, if I'm vacuuming, he goes nuts. So I can't do that. Yes, boiled egg. I love eggs. Oh, you're out watch. Are there fireworks right now? Eggplant is much better to use than uh, the noodles. Okay, eggplant is better than the noodles, my father said. Um, it was raining here today, so there's not fireworks. Oh, wow, Canada Day. The, when's Canada Day? And it's almost 4th of July here, so everyone has been going nuts. 
And I thought they banned fireworks, but people are just lighting them off all the time. So it's pretty, pretty crazy. Not by us, because I think because of the rain, you know, and it's raining, it's hard to, to light them, I guess. I don't know. I think it's dangerous. I used to enjoy them when I was younger. Now I'm just like, ah, fireworks are going to piss off my dog. You know, I'm like, no, don't annoy my dog, please. You know, like when are the fireworks? Okay, I'm leaving. That's me. All right. Estas muy bonita. I don't know what you're saying, but thank you. It's that Independence Day. So my friend said he does these jumps. Oh, July 2nd is Independence Day. This is what my friend does. My father said not to do it though, because we have stuff in the oven. July 1st and 2nd. Oh. All right, we're gonna try again. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Happy 4th of July. Oh, yes, lavender is great. Definitely try that. Just hold her belly. Hold her belly. And you know what I like too? I like, like, I go on YouTube and I look up, like, the language of light for pets. Oh my goodness, my dog loves it. So I'm just doing, what's up? Happy Canada Day. Happy belated Canada Day. And you know on July 5th, guys, we're gonna have a full moon. I don't know if you guys know about that. I'm just uh, trying to work out, cook, and live stream at the same time. <laughs> this is a, uh, I am a woman. <laughs> I am a woman in the pandemic who should have more time on her hands, but I don't. Okay. Lois said, I'm exhausted watching you. <laughs> Thank you, Lois. This is one I like. This is really easy one. Guys, you could just do it at home. Uh, it's one of my favorite ones because it's easy. I'm just like, yes, it's easy. I can do this. We can do it. What are you guys saying? Varens. Multi-talented, yeah. Well, Lois does wings. Lois does wings, he said. Lois is a tap dancer, so. So she does tap to exercise. Guys, what do you do to exercise? What are your favorite exercises? I know my mom likes walking. My dad doesn't like exercise. He does, I like sitting in a chair. My dad likes sitting in a chair and, and turning the remote. That's what my dad likes to do for exercise. I wish I didn't have to work out, but I have to because my mom is making too much pasta. Like today, she's like, oh, you're on a diet, so you don't want the lasagna then. And I was like, no, I do want the lasagna. Oh, I don't know. Oh my goodness, Mark, that's horrible. That's horrible. I've been hearing about all these kind of crazy things going on. It's scary. So scary. Working out anytime fitness. I know it's like we're waiting for the food to be ready. So what else are we going to do? We're going to do abs because otherwise I won't do it. Kind of like reading. That's why I read with my Patreons every day. We've been reading. I brought so many books. Oh my goodness. You want to see all the books I brought? I brought all these books from New York. I haven't seen in, in like years. Oh, you weight lift twice a week. That's great. So I had all these books on my bookshelf. And I didn't know, I was like, okay, like this is bag of books I brought. It's huge. I'm, I'm really into reading. Like, it's like a huge bag of books. And I hadn't read, I hadn't, haven't read them in years. Um, but here are some of the books. And I haven't finished this one. This one, I don't know where I even found it. It was like, I just, sometimes you find books and, and you take them. And I was like, oh, the human situation. Let's see this one. Lots of plays. So I'm looking for some scenes and monologues to do. So I like grabbed a bunch of plays. Oh, Barefoot in the Park. Very funny, an old picture of me and point shoes. Very old picture, I thought that was funny. I was using it as a bookmark. Um, so that, yeah, I've been doing reading on my Patreon uh, with everybody. Here's a play, I have, I've, I've bought this play like five times, Landscape of the Body. Lots of plays, short plays and monologues. Oh, ask your mom how she makes her meatballs. Mom, did we make meatballs? Yes. We have it on a live stream. Go watch it. With breadcrumbs. 
uh, basil, cheese. Uh, cheese, and then we roll them. And her answer is, you can feel when it's ready. That's all, you feel it. Same, like, so I have lots of plays, monologue. I took a bunch of monologue books because I'm just looking for, mon I took this too because I'm going to start doing my daily beauty tips again. So I've just been reading old preventions of my grandmother's. Yeah, send love for Lauren. Thank you. Lots of books, lots of monologue books, and scenes, scenes, old scenes. So my dad has a has a dance and drama school. So I also took some of his books a while ago. I haven't finished them. This is one of my favorite plays. Good morning. Some mon old monologue books. Yeah. So yeah, but these aren't the books that I'm reading uh, to my viewers. Maybe we should read a play or something. That'll be fun. We can read a play. This I found like, so one of my friends, she she ended up uh, just giving me all of her old books when she left New York. So she had all these acting books. So yeah, the actor takes a meeting. Hi guys. So yeah, it's good to read guys because you read about what all these experts, they put all their secrets in there. Ooh, the theater quotation book. <laughs> Look at this. 3 a.m. It must be 10 p.m. for you. I don't know what time is it. 10 p.m. Have we been... Okay. Is it really 10? I don't know. Alexa, what time is it? I don't know. Sorry. I'm having trouble understanding. Right What's your Patreon? My Patreon is, is I Want My Lauren. And I'm reading a book about intuition right now on Patreon. Um, it's $5 a month, and I every day I do a live stream there, reading, and yeah. Okay, so here's a quote by George Bernard Shaw. In order to fully realize how bad a popular play can be, it is necessary to see it twice. I love quotes. It's just one of my things. I have an Instagram page that is just quotes. Oh, and you know what else I love? This is the bag of things I love. <laughs> Essential oil and crystals. Oh, crystals. So I have a bag of crystals. I have put the crystals at the bottom. I've been putting them on my dog. That's what I've just been reading of all these healing things for animals. Lavender, nice. Oh wow, it's 9.50, mom. How did it get so late? Oh wow. How did it get so late, I mom? Get the oh. Mm -hmm. Mom, you also have to make the salad. We have seven minutes till the lasagna is done. Mom? Well, that, I know, I have to take off the uh, aluminum. Someone said, oh my darling, oh my darling. You know, that's one of my favorite movies. Um, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Oh, my darling Clementine, you were lost and lost forever. Oh, my darling Clementine. Ada, how are you? We just made lasagna. My mom is a really good cook. I've been trying to work out because now I'm going to have to do something to stop the, the fat from coming into my stomach from all this lasagna. Because I just can't have one little piece of lasagna. Like, I have to eat like half of the lasagna so i don't know guys does this look like i can read all those books in two weeks i was like if i read a play a day maybe i read a play this morning um i want to check this what the lasagna yeah because she's checking the lasagna guys i think the last time i and i don't remember where i got the the minutes you know the, the minutes of the lasagna here what, lasagna is your favorite thing to eat? It's mine too. Look, guys, she's looking at it. Be careful, mommy. Don't mess up your hand. Salidos. Okay. Oh, it looks good. Is it ready? Uh, I don't know. I Maybe I better go. I better. I think I better leave what it said. Mm. It's, what it said to do is 35 minutes and then take the cover off. All right. And do it five minutes more. All right. Regatta, guys. Regatta. Oh boy, it's a hot. Oh, it feels like I'm getting the suntan in here. Mm. Okay, I think we can work on the salad. Mm, that, that tomatoes are really good. Tomato salad. What's your daughter reading, Michelle? Is there any good books you recommend for us to read? I love beauty tips. Beauty tips are great because there's so many things that we don't know that are just natural and better for us. Oh my goodness, this is such a good, oh. It's like. Are you eating all the tomatoes? Your father's very upset that I cut them. 
Oh, we're gonna have pasta primavera. We don't have enough. Will you attend? I don't think I have a class reunion. <laughs> I mean, if I do have a class reunion, I'll go, but I don't think anyone's having reunions right now because the world is like on pause. Right, guys? You went to the dollar store? Oh my goodness, Ada. Which dollar store? What did you get? Did I inspire this dollar store trip? <laughs> There's the one in LA is called 99 cents only. And they have like the most, they have a lot of stuff, but some of it's not a dollar, but it's like worth it. They have like really nice stuff. But the what the, like the few trips I took to the dollar store by here, I got some good stuff. I want to go get more of those lamps that you put outside. Thank you guys. We're excited to eat the pasta. Tomato, green pepper, pizza. Oh, that is excellent. That just made me hungry for pizza. What are we gonna have for dessert? We really, we bought, um, we bought a cake from ShopRite. They have these amazing cakes that are made already that are really good, like chocolate pudding cake. But honestly, I am on a diet. I'm trying not to eat dessert, Lois. Cause, you I know, know we have some ice cream if we feel too hot we want to cool ice I, I I don't think I, I don't think it's a good idea we're no ice cream no no dessert my dad my dad got lemon ice he bought lemon ice yeah lasagna is my favorite too Michelle it's so good guys what are your favorite recipes what what do you want to see me and my mom cook on here John said do you have a boyfriend no I'm single that's why I'm with my parents <laughs> I am the single child. I told my father, I'm like, it's your fault. She's actually reading the new Hunger Games novel. Oh, that's awesome. I, I, I love the movies. To get, I'm sorry, I need to get over there by the, oh. by the board. My mom's showing me this big sharp knife. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, you're, she's cutting, uh, she puts cabbage in the salad. Red cabbage. Red cabbage in the salad. It makes it so pretty. It is pretty. Hi, George. You're such a good boy. You're a good boy. Excuse me. <laughs> Hi, George. George is looking at the cookie and thinking, oh. Somebody said I would have to do a lot of sit-ups after eating mom's cooking. I know. It's exactly what I'm feeling right now, guys. Terrified. Terrified. Should I put a piece of garlic in it? Yeah. I love garlic. I don't have any guys smelling my breath right now. <laughs> love. Garlic is actually really good for you. It's good for your heart. It's good for your circulation. And they say... It also has antibiotic properties, garlic. It's really yummy. Very, very yummy. What's up, George? Garlic is very good for you. Yeah? Of course, it, it makes people stay away from you so you don't get germs. <laughs> George, what are you doing? You hungry? He what? still has a meatball in his dish. He didn't finish that meatball? No. I think he's smelling the, the lasagna, saying, I want some lasagna, Mom. Yeah, he does love uh, tomato sauce. I love tomato sauce. Okay, so now I'm going to remove the aluminum and, and leave it another five minutes and see, excuse me, if it's going to brown a little. I like your mom. Thank you. I like her, too. <laughs> I think my dad really likes her. My dad... He did, did good. My mom is very patient and she's very nice. What's up, George? You want a pet? pet? Now. Want Let's me to pet try. you? Yummies. Five more minutes. Georgie, stop itching aluminum. your face. Stop it. Georgie, why are you itching your face for? What are you itching for? What are you itching for? Let me see. I've been watching this mole form that he has, it's very big. I'm putting some of this on it. 
tell your mom to give your fur grand fur baby meatball. He had three meatballs today, <laughs> Teresa. You know, you must be you you must know my mother. You're reading her mind. I feel like everyone's reading our mind lately, including the dogs next door. It's been crazy. Like the dogs next door just came uh over our, our our yard and started playing with George. Ada says that you're a beautiful woman. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Ada. All right, so I'm just gonna put this is what I've been doing to George's uh masses, because it's really He's about 20 growths, and in order to biopsy them all, it's very expensive. So I've just been putting some CBD oil on it from CBD Pet Health. George, he's like not, for, he's not for it. Hey, 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 George, come back here. Come back here, George. No, no, come back. He's like, no. Yeah, no. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> It's very good for your skin. Your mom is a really caring lady. Yes, she is. She's very caring, very lucky, very lucky. Thank you, Teresa. <sighs> say my name in Spanish. I don't know how to say your name in Spanish. I don't speak Spanish, it's hot in here. Is that why you went to the other room, mom? Yeah, I had to. It's really hot. I'm yeah. getting like dizzy because I was doing working out. Put the air on. Can you have the air on? No. How do I put it on? You put, slide it all the way. To the heat? Let's put it to cold. Heat? No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. <sighs> oh. Yeah, guys. And I haven't been putting makeup on. I've been kind of lazy with my makeup. Ooh, she's making the salad. Now, we, both, we just put olive oil and garlic salt in our salad. We don't put any dressing. Or my dad likes vinegar. Yeah, so he puts his own in because I vinegar is too much for me. Mm -hmm. um, I need. Um, what's this? I'll put a little of this in. Do you want to put feta in it? Oh, I love feta in my salad. Okay, so I have to. This is family show. Yes, this is a family show right now. Yes. Oh my! The start of this was really great because one of my viewers sent me a present. It was really sweet. I've been unboxing the the presents you all have been sending me. And I love, I love you guys. Thank you for the late birthday presents or whatever they are. But it's been cool. It's been very cool. Yes, happy July 4th. Happy can can Canada Day. I don't. Does any other country have an Independence Day around this same time? Let us know. Um, just because I love learning. The other day, me and my mom react to videos that you guys send and I have a reaction channel on YouTube. It's my second channel. It's not my main one. My main one, I stopped posting on for a while, but I uploaded it again today. So I'm really proud of myself because it's just been hard during this time because I don't have an editor. Normally I, I would pay someone to help me edit the videos and I just, it just has been too much. So anyway, so we're watching this. Can I tell them about what happened during the Filipino video, mom? Yeah, I don't mind. Right. She's embarrassed. She fell asleep watching the history video. <laughs> she doesn't like history very no, much. No, I was very tired. I had a big day as usual. And she fell asleep <laughs> watching it. And it was late. We you gotta read the comments and see what people thought oh, about God. that. Yeah, maybe you should. <coughs> I shouldn't have posted maybe. Sal looks delicious. So thank you guys. <laughs> oh. Oh, nice. Steven, where are you located? All right, so this is another thing that my mom does in the salad that we, I love. It's my favorite. What is this, mom? Feta cheese. So she, now we'll be a little Greek. Now it's Greek. Feta cheese is delicious in a salad. Although these tomatoes are just... I Should just, I put any in the tomatoes? No, I just want to eat the tomatoes right now. All of them. My mouth is watering looking at Your them. Your father's saying, put the feta cheese in the tomato. That's Greek. Why? But only if we, if we had cucumbers... The Greeks do the salad, but they use um, the cucumbers are good. Cucumbers Ooh. and feta cheese. That's good. Yummy. Everything is so yummy. I'm like wanting to eat everything right now. <laughs> Michelle said she falls asleep too. History. <laughs> what? If it was history, <laughs> she was not. So my mom's favorite uh, Facebook person to watch is Pasquale. I don't know if any of you guys watch Pasquale. He does Italian cooking. He's awesome and uh I, I i reached out to his son and we did a collab so that was like kind of i guess the highlight before quarantine we went to pasquale's house my mom was like so excited yeah because i said 
I said, wow, I said, that looks, I, I'd love to meet him. She said, oh, I'm going to call them up and, and uh, <laughs> we'll do a collab. And we'll collab. I said, really? And then she told me that she did it. I was like, I was really. She was shocked. I was. I was very amazed. She got her hair dyed and her nails done to go there. It was a <laughs> big was day. The, that was the last time I had my hair done. Was puffer and, and, and dyed. Yeah. That was fun. That was fun. And thank God it happened before quarantine because if yeah. it would have been after, we may not have been able to go visit him. That was the last great and thing. And he was so nice. Oh, my God. And he sells accounts. So if any of you guys love the cooking, go check out Pasquale. Yeah, He's our favorite. He made um, Sunday dinner with oh, us. So Rajol, uh, meatballs, spaghetti. Oh, it was wonderful. Oh, Leah said that's where she saw us was with Pasquale. He's really nice, too. Oh, my goodness. I was just like, whenever I look at Italian food now, when we make it with my mom, I think, because I don't know, we don't normally cook on here, but I just, I think of Pasquale because it was just, wow, it was so good. And his wine, his wine, we don't, I don't normally drink wine, but, <laughs> but yeah, anyway, um, how much more of this? Of? Of cooking. Oh. oh, but it was so, my cousins started hitting me up. They're like, how do we get, how do we meet Pasquale? <laughs> Everyone wanted to meet him. I felt, I felt guilty. I was like, oh, wow. This is like, that was really cool. My mom was happy. Uh, and, and she is really a great cook because she has Italian parents. And I guess growing up in an Italian household, I don't know if you guys, Leah, if you're Italian or Michelle, but you learn um, the Italian foods or uh, my, one of my best friends, she's Polish and she learns like all the pierogies, she knows all the pierogies, you know. And Tina, Tina's Irish and she does the Tina. Oh, Tina's Polish. Tina's Polish? I thought yeah. she was. But hash, she makes amazing um, corn what is beef. corned beef yeah. hash. Oh my goodness! So, wow. Yeah, corned beef um, for St. Patrick's Day. Oh, that's yeah. To food is great. You'll show your mom. Oh, thank you, Leah. Thank you so much. Yeah, I like to bake too, but it's just it's hard because in the summertime the kitchen gets so hot. You know that's the problem in the summer. I watch him. Oh, nice, Ada. You watch you watch Pasquale, too. He's great. He's very nice. Very, very, very nice. And very good cook. And gave me a whole thing of mushrooms to go home with in, like, a really cute plastic thing. I was like, oh. But, yeah, I really liked I really liked doing uh, shooting with him. And it was very inspiring because my mom has wanted to do a cooking cooking videos for, so, for, for a while now. But it's hard. She burned herself the first time we did it because she gets very... Um, like the ingredients all have to be prepared and yeah you should put vitamin e on that i know every time i look at the, i think of lasagna <laughs> oh it's your memory of lasagna oh i didn't time this lasagna 150,000 views you think it's done i hope you're not burning lasagna mommy because we're talking about pasquale that would be really bad <laughs> be like oh no so you said think you think it's done yeah i think it's probably ready all right guys we think it's ready he is nice. It's really, a lot of the creators on the internet are super nice and it's cool. Like I've been doing videos on here for like 10 years. So I've met a lot of really cool, nice people. And it's just, it's sad right now. There's a lot of drama going on, which is really sad with some creators. And it's just a crazy time. You gotta just be, gotta, I just stay home with my family. Oh my goodness. It looks so good. You learn every, because New York, New there's, York yeah. We learned everybody, we was cooked, we learned everybody's cuisine. Oh, wow, Mom, that looks great. I'm excited. See, to me, I want meat. You want meat? <laughs> and the, my mom's upset now, guys. You guys are saying turkey, and she really, maybe you can add the turkey after. Just yeah. put it in after. No, it's all right. <laughs> He does not like the turkey. Oh, Mike went to Roses today. How was Roses? Is it open? Oh, oh yeah, my mom's favorite store in Ocean City. My mom's from Virginia, and her parents have a place in Ocean City. Had a place, and we would always go there. We haven't been there in a while. But anyway, guys, um, I love you very much. I'm so excited to eat this. I will post a picture on my Instagram story. Oops, she just added a... Sorry, Mom. I was, I was showing them how you add the oil. She puts olive oil in the salad. No vinegar, just olive oil and garlic salt, cheese, cabbage. And what kind of lettuce is it, Mommy? Um, well, that's the uh, iceberg lettuce. Iceberg lettuce, lettuce and, yeah. Uh, I was just looking for a little pepper. Thank you, you Leah. Pepper. Thank you. Did what? With Yes. Escarole. And, and, and arugula. Arugula, I, we're out of that. Oh. 
<laughs> bon appetit. Diamond said two slices, please. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Thank you for sharing. Thank you guys. Hope you guys stay safe and have a good night. Good dinner. Uh, these tomatoes are awesome as well. Uh, yeah, guys, if there's anything that you want us to make, let me know in email, goddessacomedy at gmail.com or leave it in a comment after this. Thank you guys. Nice to see you. Oh, I wish, I wish I could stay longer, Michelle. I do. I just, I have to eventually, we have to eat dinner now and my, my dad does not. Yeah, it's oh, yeah, it's after 10, yeah. My dad does not want to be on camera. He yelled at me the other day. Thank you. Thank you. I dyed my mom's hair on camera and I tried to do my dad's. And after I got this whole lecture about how he can, that he's a serious actor and that he cannot be on my Facebook streams. <laughs> That's not true. Do you want to be on, you want to say goodnight? <laughs> you want to say want they want to see you now no no because I, I didn't shave i look terrible see oh my god really daddy yes why don't you want to show them you because i have to get plastic surgery first all right guys i love you bye thank you guys for watching i'll see you tomorrow